Prime Minister urged factory owners to continue working and meet the needs of the country people. Bangladesh police declared a bounty of Taka 10 lakh each on two escaped militants. Determining seniority for government primary school teachers not now, Appellate Division issued status quo. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to My TV English News. I'm Ashiku Zaman with you in the newsroom today. You're watching the headlines now. The details. Sheikh Hasina has urged the factory owners and other titans of industry to continue working and meet the needs of Bangladesh's populace despite the ongoing global economic uncertainty caused by the war in the Ukraine and the series of sanctions and counter-sanctions it prompted. The Prime Minister's request came during the inauguration of the industrial infrastructure and laying of foundation stones at 50 economic zones across the country at an event commemorating the 50th anniversary of Bangladesh's independence, which she joined via video conferencing from her official residence, Ganubhavun, today. Two death row convicts accused in the murder case of publisher Faisal Arifin Deepon and writer-blogger Ovijit Roy have been snatched away from the premises of a Dhaka court after throwing spray at the eyes of police. Members of militant outfit Jamaatul Mujahid in Bangladesh, Abu Siddiq and Moinul Islam have been snatched away today, shortly after 12 noon. After the hearing of the case, they were snatched away by throwing spray at the eyes of police while taking them to the prison van. Meanwhile, the police announced a reward of Taka 10 lakh for the surrender of two convicted militants. Japanese ambassador to Bangladesh Ito Naoki held a farewell meeting with Road Transport and Bridges Minister Obaidul Kadir. In the farewell meeting at the Secretariat in the morning, the progress of development project of Bangladesh with the assistance of Japanese government was discussed. Earlier, the Minister of Road Transport and Bridges also discussed the progress of various ongoing projects with the official concerned in the meeting room of the Road Transport and Highways Department. Meanwhile, Road Transport and Highways Department Department Secretary ABM Aminul Lanuri and senior officials were present. People are attending the movement of BNP despite the torture, killing and disappearances, says BNP Secretary General Mirza Fokrul Islam Alumgir. He said this at a Milad Mahfil in front of party central office in Noyapolton today. Calling upon the party leaders and workers not to clash over minor issues, he said the strict action will be taken those who are involved in conflict with the committee. BNP Secretary General also said that those who are involved in clashes will be expelled. The Appellate Division has issued a status quo in the procedures determining seniority of government primary school teachers across the country. At the same time, the court suspended the High Court verdict to determine the seniority of 26,000 nationalized primary school teachers by reckoning 50% of their service time. A three-judge bench of the Appellate Division with Chief Justice Hassan Foy Siddiqui and the chair passed the order on Sunday by granting the status state's leave to appeal against the High Court verdict. Duranto Biplop, former General Secretary of Jahangir Nagar University Chhatra League, died in a boat crash while returning from Jinjira to Sawari Ghat. In a press conference organized at DMP's Media Center, Detective Lalbagh Division Deputy Police Commissioner Moshiur Rahman said that six people from the Morning Sun launch were arrested yesterday from Karanigon's area 
of the capital. He said analysis of CCTV footage and digital movement showed that the boat capsized due to the impact of the launch and the passengers drowned. The police said Duranto was present among the drowned passengers. Now international news. Malaysia's veteran leader Mahathir Mohamad lost the election for the first time in his 53-year political career. He lost his seat in Malaysia's general election on Saturday. Another former prime minister of the country, Muhyiddin Yassin-led coalition, candidate won this seat. Mahathir was the fourth out of five candidates. Meanwhile, this defeat is seen as the end of his seven decades of political career. Mahathir Mohamad served as the Prime Minister of Malaysia for more than two decades in two terms. He was elected from Perikatan Coalition. Mahyuddin Yassin is leading this alliance. UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has visited Ukraine for the first time on Saturday. He pledged to continue his support to the Western ally. Rishi Sunak announced a new air defense package to Ukraine after visiting Kiev. The package will help the country to shoot down Russian drones. The new $60 million British aid package is said to include technology such as aircraft guns and radars to counter drone attacks. Now news on sports. Ecuador will face host Qatar today in the opening match of Qatar World Cup in Group A. Qatar will be slightly ahead in terms of powers. Being the host country, Qatar had more confidence. Besides, the host defeated Ecuador and in a great rhythm by winning all the matches of last five matches. So the host want to start the World Cup mission with a win. Ecuador, on the other hand, will start a bit behind. Recently, however, their performance has not been very favorable. They have won only one of their last five matches. They have drawn all the remaining matches. So the match will not be easy for Ecuador. The opening match of the World Cup will start at 10 p.m. Bangladesh time at Al Bayt Stadium. Before the start of the World Cup, one bad news for another in the friends camp. The defending champions suffered another big blow at the very last moment. This time Karim Benzama, the star of the team and the life of attack was knocked out due to injury. His old left thigh has injury resurfaced while training with the team in Doha. Qatar on Saturday after an MRI was revealed that he will need at least three weeks to recover from the injury. So his World Cup in Qatar is definitely over. Meanwhile, before the start of the World Cup, Paul Pogba Conte and Mbappe suffered major injuries, forced to announce the World Cup squad without the team coach Didier Desson. After the announcement of the team, Leipzig striker Christopher Kuku was knocked out with an injury. We're about to the end the headlines once again. Prime Minister urged factory owners to continue working and meet the needs of country people. Bangladesh police declared a bounty of Taka 10 lakh each of two escaped militants. Determining seniority for government primary school teachers not now. Appellate division issued status quo. Malaysia's veteran leader Mahathir Mohamad lost the election for the first time in his 53 years political career. And Ecuador will face the hosts Qatar in the opening match of Qatar World Cup in Group A. That's all for now. To watch our news online, please visit 
YouTube slash MyTV News to watch our old programs. Please visit YouTube slash MyTV Bangla and Facebook slash MyTV Bangla. Our next news bulletin will be telecast at 7.30 p.m. in Bangla. Stay tuned. Allah Hafiz.